the swells, sure, I'd say, I have know, gotten larger and have uh, longer periods since March. Copy that, thank you. Um, more yeah. broad, There's a hollow thorium there. Yeah, it looks like a hollow thorium. Did it take a place away from us? Copy. Let it go. But it looks like down here, for whatever reason, there are very few things being associated go with the coral. So far, I think we've only seen that one colony that had some Galantis polyps. So is that a hollow thorium or a... Yeah, it's, it's going to be a hollow theory, and I'm pretty sure. I'll let you take over then. So, uh, my best guess on this is. Um, uh, like a tight Holotherian in the family Cynolactidae oh, okay. and looks similar to some things we imaged in the Northwest Hawaiian Islands last year and that were identified as possibly being a Hansenotheria or in the genus Hansenotheria. Uh, this is by Andre Gebruck of the Shershov Institute of Oceanology in Moscow wide. and so we've sent him uh, all of the photographs of the Holotherians. Copy last year and we also sent them to Dave Paulson at the Smithsonian too. Th these are two of the foremost experts on sea cucumbers, deep water sea cucumbers in the world. Okay, let's come back in. So I think it's a reasonable guess to, to go with uh, the Hansen Otheria for this particular animal. So you can also see in the zoom in how the sort of uh, manganese crust has that very slight bumpiness to it. That's exactly enough to, to cancel that down sediment. Yep. And so that's why the, uh, the rocks that are in yeah. place seem to look a little bit more grayish, have that little sediment Rolling dust on them. The ones that recently rolled look more black look because you're looking stable. at a different side. Yep. Get the focus. Any particular part we're interested in on this? I think the head. head should I come up? Yeah, a little bit. For full specimen. So we think the head end is the uh, upper end there. Sometimes it's a little I hard agree. to tell on these Tilt guys. To fill the <laughs> it's awesome. Actually, go sometimes ahead and on the head, Roland. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, right just now. don't go there. No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> just while we're stable. And then we can come out for yeah. full specimen when you're set. He's got the little, little spikies on his back. Yeah, these I think are called pseudopodia, okay. but I'm, I could Pulling be mistaken. Out. That's why I call them little spikies. Little yes, spikies, please. I see. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Holding. Um, so you're actually seeing inside the body of this animal, and that sort of whitish stuff that you're seeing Let is the digestive room. tract, okay. and uh, that sediment Two that he's seconds. been ingesting. Copy. He actually picks it up with his tube feed and puts it into his mouth. Video is clear. And Copy. Um, it's, he's full of sediment. Only had it one goes uh, all the way down to end the posterior end, so that you have your camera pretty back. sure that the Copy. upper end is going to be his mouth and the posterior end is going to be the, the rear end. So uh, if I don't really understand very much there. about their biology, but um, I believe they ingest all the sediment and they're able to okay. extract organic material as it goes through their digestive tracts. And uh, then I'll just expel the, the the clean sediment after they've um, finished getting everything they can from it, all the nutrition. I'll try to give you uh, some of these views as we come up. 